hello everybody welcome to the season five chalice we've got diamed with this necromantic team has lost the toss versus Krupi with Nurgle who's decided to receive of course and uh, he's both quite big TV 1640 for Diamed 1695 for Krippy the TV cap was 1700 for the season so you can see that uh, Diamond has a couple of nice wolves. AV up, love to see it. Love the AV ups. Bare minimum guard race. And I guess this was a randomness break tackle. I guess he just didn't play too many games on the team, right? Um, he would definitely rather have like, well, AV ups on all these four players. Or like, you know, mighty blows and stuff. So the uh, zombies are pretty good. A couple of AV up zombies. Wrestle, presumably they were, they were all kind of like random, right? The wrestle was random and uh, tackle random. Is this tackle not a dirty player? Sorry, I'm stupid. And we've got a dirty player, sneaky git, a ghoul. It also has block. Even though he's only got two ghouls, one of them is a sneaky git DP. Oh, maybe this one had died and that's why he's less than 17, right? Maybe the other ghoul that had leveled, they maybe had like block dodge sidestep, maybe that died. That's why 16.45. Um, Creepy on the other hand has got a dedicated ball carrier here. Lodge sure runs, two heads, tackle. And got a claw blitzer with plus AV. Sneaky get dirty player there on the bench. And his uh, bashy T players look a bit better, right? We've all got block guard. And then he's got one stun firm and two mighty blows. But, you know, neither massive TV, right? Even even Krippy at 70, well, 1695 is still not a completely bonkers team. And uh, Diamed has got a... Not a bay, what are they called? A Bloodweiser keg. Politically correct now. Bloodweiser keg. So kind of like the standard setup to defend as well as you can versus blitz, like simply, you know, still want a bunch of guys in the LOS to maximise hits as much as possible. Intensive training. Wait, what's this square? What, why is this square up here? <laughs> so he's choosing to give this guy a skill, which will probably be like pro or whatever. Wrestle well, I usually. I've seen people get pro, is that a different one where you get pro? This you just get a choice. A primary system. Or maybe people choose pro because they've already got like block and stuff on the field of game. I've seen a lot of people choose pro. So one removal. I like this three back, it's just a little bit too far to go and get them. Nope, fails the pickup. Does he just end the turn instantly? I don't hate just ending the turn. Wait a minute, he's got tails. They don't come with tails, do they? Is this a uh, is this a customization that uh Krippy has bought? We've got tails. And like, kind of tentacles there. This must be a, this must be a cosmetic, right? Surely that's a cosmetic, that isn't a default rodder. 
Like, I haven't really paid attention to rocks before. Oh, but this definitely, look, this has got a little cape on. So this has definitely got some cosmetics on that one. So maybe, uh, maybe they are. Mmm. The DP has no tail. Ah, yes. I just didn't see. I saw that it had these two. And I just didn't see the tail, but yeah, interesting. Oh, he's dub skulled. Shouldn't have blitzed. I told him not to. <laughs> take the push so he can get the safety, I imagine. No, take the power. Oh, he's not dodging. He's just panic trying to plow in. DPs have two tails. How very childish. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Surely have to tuck the wolf in here. This one can try and dodge out of here. I wouldn't have hit it trying to dodge out. I mean, every, everyone's been miles away. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I thought just passing the turn was better for Diomed last turn. But he chose to go in. And now the Nurgle are back in as well, and we're going to see some fighting. It's actually quite hard to fill the time on your own, isn't it? Not oh, here we go. Gets the nothing. <laughs> it really interesting to blitz from this angle as well. Instead of the uh, instead of behind, right? I would have blitzed from behind. I feel like you're just safer if you're in here. Something, yeah, he... probably not worth it, is it? Even if he can, he's got all sorts of like chain possibilities and stuff. What to think about as a necro player? Like, the most basic one you've got is punch this guy into this side step to there and then dodge, but I mean, it's not good enough, is it? Maybe got other things for it, maybe he's trying to get a surf.
I mean, surely you will attempt to surf this. Right? That seems an obvious thing to do, isn't it? Punch him down and surf out with a wolf. The question is, like, do you blitz with the wolf? Not. Oh, Le Duple skulls. Terrible dice for Diamond so far. Two first block of each turn has been dub skulls. Seven ten on both sides right now, but uh, Diamond is still ticking down, taking plenty of time. As the Falcon gets the pals, no surf. Diamond. Oh baby, hello Pnef Pnef. And this gives him the wolf hit on the dirty player sneaky git, which is quite good, isn't it? Two into two. I guess that's why I did it around that way. Dead, dead, dead. Fantastic. Oh, Andy returns from the dead as well, so gets another player. That's very handy. Oh, he double wand. Sneaky get dirty player sent off for a stun. Absolutely diced. Comedy Mega Dyson. It's funny, isn't it? For every game where a sneaky get dirty player like does ten fouls and doesn't get sent off, there's the odd game like this where you just get instantly sent off, which sucks. No, I think it's a bit wild for a necro ghoul. But the thing is, that's how overpowered sneaky get dirty player is, isn't it? Ridiculous. But personally, I wouldn't use one for necro yet yeah, because you see the number of players that can actually pick up the ball is not massive. The box with a rod of sleek and blitz with the pestagon. Definitely wants to get a pal here. Oh, can, is he going to 3D? I guess he is. He's going to move the ball carrier in as well. That yeah, doesn't make any sense. I oh, can move this to the guy in. It doesn't make any sense to move from there unless you can make it three dice. And gets the ball pretty safe but it's still not that safe this is if he three dices this he's gonna to have to screen with the guy who blitzes and if he doesn't three dice him it's a bit shit isn't it yeah. gets the pow Pow, 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 pow.
I guess you just go in and hit the uh, hit the flesh. But you do want a pallet. That's the problem. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just screens with him and then doesn't hit the fleshy. Maybe he doesn't want to get too deep back, does he? So it's tough. Tough call. Maybe he has to put it in and punch the fleshy. That's a knockdown. I mean, that's a big knockdown. Without that, things could have happened. Blitz, uh, blitz the bloater here. Oh my god, he's dub skulled again. Three turns, three dub skulls. <laughs> that's, uh, that's blood ball for you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Is he thinking about eating this? Maybe he is, because he's only got one reroll left. I guess he could eat it. He does not eat it, and he is out of reroll. Yeah, that would have been quite a mistake to have left that on. <laughs> it really is. Why are we all this? Because he's just gonna, you know, he stops him getting a hit, claw hit on this uh, dude or this one or whatever. Right? Doesn't want to fear. He could have died rolling dub skulls there. Whereas now he could have got a kill. But, um, I mean, he thought for a while, didn't he? He shouldn't have reroll that. I think he just thought everything's getting knocked down, but it's not really looking that good for him. Anyway, is it? Oh my goodness. Are we going for the surf? Sure looks like it. It's the push. Choose. So there you go, he gets the surf, so that's why I re-rolled it, I guess. He gets a sidestepper on the ball. Adding a bit more pressure to this guy. Maybe he's got through the middle next turn. Yeah, he's been very unlucky the uh, first first three turns. Open the dub skull. Thing is, though, exposing the wolf means that nothing will happen to him, right? That's the way it works. If you just expect your players to survive, then they will. Uh, there's not much to say, is there? I don't know. It's the bold speaks for itself. 
he's thinking. We've just been sat for three minutes watching somebody think. <laughs> oh, no, two minutes. Not blitzing with the tackler. That means he's dodging and he's going to blitz the wolf. Three dice. And leaving the corner. He can't afford to leave the corner open, really. So this is a little bit dodgy. It's a huge power on the wolf. That's a somewhat nice solution, I guess. Not easy to crack open. Like it's just a one day, right? It's not one day without a reload. That sucks. Good evening, Salamakas. Fleshy's in. It's got to play very carefully now, right, Diana? Safe moves first is the most important thing. Has to not lose the drive completely. The Dubler powers. Wait, does he put in the sidestepper now before blocking? So that he can sidestep if it's on a push. But otherwise that doesn't make any sense. As far as making sense, errata, errata. I kind of thought of this before he punched, but I just don't really see what it achieves. Oh, it lets him push him down. Yeah, I do, I do see what it achieves. Yeah, it lets him push him down. He already had the 2D, but this lets him push him down. Like, I literally thought of that, and I didn't know why I thought of it. Because it lets him push him down. And he's got 2D with tackle, gets the full power. There you go, base cage. Not going, but not going well for Krupy. And now Diamond can run away into a into a full cage. <laughs> With the other one. I mean that's risky because it, it you know like it's easy in this activation, but a really nice turn from Diamond without rerolls. Oh, Dan, hover for I can only apologize to everybody how ridiculously tired I am. So, yeah. If you wonder why the commentary is absolutely dreadful today, it's because. It's taking every part of me to stay awake right now. <laughs> well, that's that, honestly the Nurgle pants are vile, aren't they? Why do they have a little fucking ass cheek hole? That's proper weird. Wow, 
Pal. Greed's for a pal. And a removal. And the removal is incredible. That gives him the 2D. Like, the pal wouldn't have, right? The pa With a pal, he can't hit the ball. But he needs the pal and the removal and he gets it. That is ridiculous. But, having said that, maybe Diamond should have made a GFR last turn. But it's really hard to... Do that, isn't it, without a reroll? If he'd had a reroll, I'm sure he made the GFI. Instead, he's got smashed on two dice. Instantly powered. Six cells, yeah. I mean, it definitely does. But it's weird, isn't it? It's weird that, like, digital sex cells. Like, that's the weirdest thing, honestly. Like, my uh, JFW videos, the one with the most views by far, is the one with uh, Sheila on the thumbnail. And my Blood Bowl YouTube videos, it's the one with the Witch Elf on the thumbnail by far. It's so weird. Well, it's a bit sad for Diamond, and if he sold a reroll, he'd have GFI'd with that wolf and wouldn't have been hit. But instead, Trippy got the cars that got him the hit. And with these two KOs, it's really looking not over, but very close to over for. Diamond here. I guess there's only three turns left. Maybe you can just get in the way now. But these two up at the side here, both getting stunned, is. Whoa. Absolutely monumental. No, not me, Khalifa. No, I believe it or not. Mia Khalifa also didn't get too many videos on the, uh, didn't get too many views on the uh, entrance videos. I should have at least tried. Amaranth or uh, Morgan, <laughs> Mole Pie. <laughs> oh, he just got just got no players, has he? He's got five players that he can activate. He's taken all these KOs, cars send off, and then two stuns as well. This is a disaster for Diamond. No rerolls. But I guess, you know, the fact that he's removed the ball carrier means maybe he can get the stop still, but it's just going to be very, very, very difficult. He could have jumped. The, pro the problem that he's got is... Oh, yeah, he could have jumped. Yeah, to hit the thing, it would have been a four-plus jump, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe, maybe Creepy's plan was to jump. But then... It might have been... A, I don't know if it would be... It might have been a five-plus jump. But, um... Whatever it was... The Kaz was perfect. It might have been a 3 plus and then all the way around. It might have been like a 3 plus double GFI. Oh. Glorious value from the race. The uh, foul appearance triggers. I mean, not really, Ali Raider. He blocked and rolled a dub skull and then he blocked and rolled a dub skull and then he blocked and rolled a dub skull <laughs> when you just when you just dub skull as your first block of like is your only block of the turn like you blit he blitzed on turn one and double skulled then he dub skulled with this first block of turn two and then maybe he could have not re-rolled the third one yeah i mean i like passing the turn but i did like passing the turn but you know, it, it kind of paid off for him, right? He got the stop. I mean, well, he would have got the stop if he had half his team down. Yeah, Krippy's drive, yep. Yeah. Red. I just realised these, these are red and blue naturally, aren't they? Oh. It's like a very... Dark red, isn't it? Like kind of burgundy. 
and then it's just the default necro is it I like red and blue more Stripes. You can see on these two. You might get the stop still, might he here, um, Diamond? His stun players get up. Got a half a chance. Oh, God, he just pushes into nothing. Diced. And even if he'd, uh, Just pushed him right, he'd have got two dice on this guy. Because he could have pushed him down to there, and he'd have had the guard pieces. So it really screwed him on getting this guy. So you get bad dice of a diamond. Turn. Well, rerolls just make uh, make creepy roll the dice. Isn't it? Use three minutes of bonus time as diamond. Creepy over two minutes. So let's move that blower in to take this hit. the pest honestly maybe he should have but I think you just want you know like just let let creepy roll the dice right because it's, it's too likely to fail anything no re-rolls just make make creepy roll the dice oh he does scatter it it's pretty good having a standing player like in the midst of all of it isn't it it's, oh my god glory scatter so now he's got to block with the block guy to scatter it again. I think so. I mean, he doesn't actually have to, right? He could, um, but he could blitz him and then pick it up and run away without a scatter. But I imagine he, sh he should probably scatter. Lovely cars, regens, everyone's happy. Oh, now he's got it, now he's got the player, hasn't he? This one can block this one. This one can block him. Okay, that's not what I would have done. I guess he was scared of like 
not getting the knockdown or failing the foul appearance. But a successful defence for Diameter, maybe still a counter score, right? Very unlikely, he's got no players left. Just running away. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> He's sideline caging. No, he just run away. It was a concentrated run away. Top tier running away. Yeah, just further away, yeah, just, uh, he's got Tackle Mighty and he's got Claw Mighty. So just run away so we can only hit these two that have got Foul Appearance. No Beast of Nurgle. So the thing with the Beast of Nurgle is, like, there's the TV cap, right? The TV cap is 1700. And having a, Nur a Beast of Nurgle, well, not Beast of Nurgle, Rotspawns are called now. Having a rot spot, yeah. very expensive. Uh, better to just have five more skills. Or oh, whatever, you know, like a hundred. A rot run a hundred more TV of stuff. Either randoms or plus AVs or full price skilled. It's just better than a slow, unreliable piece of shit beast. <laughs> Basically. I think the beast is worse against elves, to be honest. So, um, there you go. Oh, they foul, failed the foul appearance. Right, three plus because he's got the babes and they both come back but this one remains injured and he remains sent off and I guess this was the KO'd one there you go, two KO's back, only one KO I mean, but all of the KO's back spots him on his uh, bench so well done, Kruby. Clever Kruby. Oh, what's this guy got? Oh, it's because that one's dead. I'm like, why does he look like a rookie? It's because this it, this is the dead one. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Rookie. There's still 11 players for Diamond. And he's escaped nil-nil, so... He should be able to sort this out. It's a dirty player, Rotter. He's kicking... A human groin. Or a humanoid groin. There you go, dirty player. Restomp the groin.
And the problem is tents uh, just don't are worse, right? Tents have been nerfed. They're kind of better for game winning situations because you can't re roll them anymore, but they're worse most of the time. And you just don't want a uh, an unreliable slow player basically. Exactly, Invictus, exactly. And this is round two of the cup, man kids. Hello. Round of thirty two. One of the better matches of the round, at least in terms of names we know. And after this, there is uh, Kfog versus Chunter, also in the second round of the cup, but also Super League um, match between Sea Bros and Strider. Two of the top for pop, two of the top performing coaches at Euroball. So you know, two really good games on at the same time. Well, Strider Seabro starts at in forty minutes, and Chunter versus Big Care starts in seventy minutes. So basically, see how long this lasts, and then watch whichever one. Maybe watch Chunt Alive just because um, I'm so tired that I'd rather do a better job on the Super League. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so ridiculous. Like, I'm kind of falling. I'm just so tired, man, because I'm just ridiculously, incomprehensibly tired. Now, I've got the old Necro Blitz here. Doesn't have to, gets the knockdown. Very wisely put the wolf on the side opposite to the tackle. In fact, you could say very badly by Kruppi, right? Kruppi should have had these two swapped, right? Because he's got a tackle mighty there. He's put both tacklers on the same side, so... That was a mistake. I think that's fair to say, right? You know, that's kind of like harsh for a normal person. But I did mankiz. But what happened was, um, in January, I became the official caster for well, one of the official casters for the season two finals. So I thought to myself, I should have to use proper icons because I've got to get used to them because obviously when we're doing the official cast we have to use the proper icons so I switched them and never looked back what is the first skill on the white on the right it is a break tackle wraith you mean now these are wraiths now um, but yeah that is break tackle you'll have got it on a random I'm sure Trap tackle. It's definitely not a trap tackle. It was just bad. <laughs> it was just bad. Keep your tackles central or both sides, right? And also, funnily enough, one of the uh, official casters for the World Championship, which is on in uh, 
well, three and a half weeks. That will start. And uh, should be very exciting. And I'm in it as well, so there you go. <laughs> in it and commentating. Should be pretty glorious. He really wanted a power right so you could hit the uh blitz the what's this called? Bloater. Problem is if he takes the push, then he might just roll a one to hit the bloater anyway. He does take the push. Doesn't seem very good. He could hit the uh, he could hit the tackler, couldn't he? He probably should have powered there, right? And then he can put he can put a player in a guard or in there, right? The guard can go in there, and then he can just blitz him. This guy up there, guard in there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be pretty good. Huge pal. Yeah, he's gonna hit the ball carrier. This is a uh, absolutely collapsed flank, isn't it? But pretty good over here. Doesn't even kill him. Does he do the dodge out play? Maybe he's going to get smashed by Mighty. Just a square away from Claw Mighty. I don't think we'll see a Geophyte to punch him. Funny you should ask. <laughs> I qualified by winning my own league. <laughs> um, so of course I invited, I handpicked ridiculously easy opponents, um, such as Diomed, Crucifer, Andy Devo, Artemis Black, people like that, so I could get easy wins. And then, uh, so yeah, there you go. Glorious Super League. Um, I think the rookie goo in Victus was because he didn't want to bother uh, playing all right. He probably had like one of the ghouls die, and then he just bought a rookie back. But yeah, Super League. The Super League got given like so, like thirty-eight leagues, I think, got given tickets. And then, uh, like, varying amounts of tickets, and one of the leagues was Super League, which uh, which we had a season of um, for the ticket. It was then so I didn't know whether people would want to play more and stuff, or whether I'd want to run more. And uh, nah, he's not at the cap, he's 55 short, so he would have definitely had, like, block sidestep, AV or whatever, right? It's just that he uh, just hasn't got it. But yeah, rookie, rookie goals are pretty good, but. Block and sidestep are incredible, and right? so is AB. So I'm, I'm sure they've just had one time. Um, and yeah, so you know, so next year, hopefully, seeing as like Super League was a big hit, and I did a few seasons of it, like it's not much, not much work to do it, but it's a, some work, right? I wasn't sure I'd, how much we'd do, but uh, no problem, Invictus. <laughs> um, yeah, so so I wasn't sure like how you know how if they'd be, if people would even want to play the second season, right? Because I thought 
What happened was there was the season two finals. Can I imagine you missed it all, Matt? Right, man? Because there was the season two finals, which was basically instead of Chalice after season two, they had like a bunch of people qualified who made the chal Chalice, and then a bunch of people from like various other places got tickets. Um, I got one by winning a NAF tournament. Uh, the NAF kickoff event I won. So I got my ticket from that. Um, and then other, you know, there were various other ways to get tickets. And then there was like a big cut to a top 16. And then um, I think that went down to like eight or something or, or six. I don't know what, what it went down to. I think it went, maybe it went down like the top eight or the top six because it was, it was like um, double elimination. And then, and then myself and Andy Davo went to Montpellier in a very swanky studio, a TV studio, and uh, and live casted all the games from there. So that was very cool. And in that, um, you know, some people were in it and stuff. And then Strider won, and I think he got two thousand euros. Very nice. And then so then they thought that was good, so they did kind of same thing again. So. At this time, there was no way to make NAF-style teams, right, in the client. So I thought, well, seeing as, like, quite a lot of people were in the playoffs, well, play-ins, they called them the play-ins to make, like, the Season 2 finals, right? Seeing as a lot of people were in the play-ins, I was like, we can use our teams that we made for this. Because, like, you know, Cyanide, like, Cyanide adminned all the skills on themselves, like, manually. So I was like, let's use these teams that we have to do a Super League, a season of Super League. And uh, people were like, yeah, that sounds good. And then uh, the guy who runs it's like, well, actually, we're going to have that. We're going to have that ability in. And we were like, all oh, right, cool. So um, so once they decided that was going to be a possibility to like, you know, make an style team, so I was like, all right, well then. And then this thing came along with a World of the World Cup world championship places so i was like oh so can can super league have a spot and uh and then like the dude was like you've got to make sure that it's uh it's good players though and i'm like yep it's good players so so most of the first season of super league most of the people were like you know who did well in the playoffs like uh like call troop and stuff um so there was like no complaints, you know, like nobody could complain. Like obviously Diamond and Strider were the top two. Uh, they won the final. Call Troop was third. I think in Iron was fourth. So got a bunch of people from the uh, from the play and playoffs and play-ins, including myself, because <laughs> I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> and then I won it, so that got me the spot for the thing. Then after that, funnily enough, there was also like a NAF World Cup qualifier where the top two qualified. And Andy Davo won that, and I was second in that. So if I hadn't qualified from my own league, I would have qualified from that. And then Seabros was third, so Seabros qualified from that. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. But hopefully next season, next year, we'll get more tickets for Super League. This is like a little bit dodgy, right? With all these guys going down and this ghoul being so disconnected. It can double G if I hand off to the wolf, though. So. Oh, foul appearance. He's had some clutch foul appearances, but I guess so has uh, Creepy. has been kind of even on the. It's certainly, it's certainly becoming, it's becoming a lot better. It is becoming better, man. Because like the, when it came out, the beta was horrendous. When it came out for real, it was not good. And it's slowly getting bearable. <laughs> bearable. Which I realise may not be the biggest uh, sell of a league, of a video game. It's it's becoming bearable. But, you know, it is. Half Ladder is the best. 
What he should have done was come up here, right? He should have come up there. Like here. Where is he? One, two, three, four, five. He should have been here. So he's kind of on the diagonal, right, for the handoff. Because he's not really doing anything there. He's got the double GFI handoff still. Whereas if you're up, up there, he wouldn't be able to go without dodging or blitzing. And oh my god, he had the double foul appearance in the same turn. Incredible. Four. Amazing man, kids. Yeah, the, the NAF ladder is really good, isn't it? Hopefully. Well, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you what I would like to see for Blood Bowl Three is a NAF style gauntlet. So like, like uh, Ultimate Team Weekend Leagues kind of thing. So you've got to like win ten before you lose two, something like that. But like not over a weekend, just over the whole season. Because that would be kind of a good way to play NAF, I think. Oh my god, another dub skull. Oh my god, 1 in 81! A blockless block! ko Wow. Flip me. This could be punishing for Diamond. Hello, PC. Pity. Yeah, Diamond has had some shit luck, hasn't he? But I mean, Kruby had some bad luck there. The double foul appearance failure was just like it wasn't a turnover, right? But it was still unlucky. Bloody bowels. Mank is the champ. Next season of Super League, we could maybe have PC in as well. Yes, I mean, Dio has definitely had the worst luck, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And he still stopped the score. And may yet win. Oh! Well, that's a big hit. He could hit the ball, couldn't he? He could triple GFI to hit the ball. I don't hate it at all. Looks like that's what he's doing, because he hasn't glitched yet, has he? So that sure looks like what he's doing. Triple GFI. That's the beauty of multiple rerolls, isn't it? Probably wouldn't have even tried this if he could only have one reroll. But the fact that he's got two, two bite, two bites of the cherry, this player becomes feasible. <laughs> Will he do it though? 
Actually, it was four GFIs, wasn't it? There's two to assist, then two to hit. He doesn't use the last reroll, though. So he's only tagged. Wow, he's in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle is old Diamond. He's got a GFI with him. And then Blitz somewhere. <laughs> Hand off the zombie and potato. This uh, hand off to the wolf is now obviously terrible because he's got to blitz him somehow and get it to him. It's, it seems unrealistic. Could dodge off the wraith into there and then 2D him. But I feel like he has to use the blitz there, so. This is what what he kind of has to do is dodge off in it here, block twice with him, and then this guy dodges out there. So he kind he kind of has to make this wraith dodge. I think. I think he kind of has to. And then what he could do is, then he gets to block this guy twice, then this one gets to dodge out, come around, and then punch this one with wrestle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is, this is really nice. Really nice if he can uh, make this wraith dodge. I think he probably has to re roll it. Not the wraith in there. I don't have to be in there, does it? It could be there or whatever. It feels, feels more sensible to put it in there. But maybe not because he's got night blow. But you occupying your mind. Yeah. Kind of like leaving yourself the space to go around here. Okay, so he's just gone there. Like, it doesn't really matter. Gets the pow. And this one goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kind of like managed to get all in his own way, right? Doesn't really matter when you go there. Oh, okay, he's coming around there. I really like just going here to punch him. Safe moves first. Well, maybe he's going to double GFI with this guy last action. Could also 4 3 2 with this guy, right, for a tackle. Which is why I didn't mind punching him with this, like, you know, moving this guy to here to punch this guy. Also, he could blitz there, blitz with him, and then just base him. Or he could have, this one could have blitzed this one, so he could have stood in front of him. God's recovery guy, oh wow. You are greedy, man, kids. <laughs> Blitz and then stand on the ball is safer, isn't it? But does it do enough is the question. This is one of the things, isn't it? Like, this is the safer move, but does it do enough? And then this guy can GFI to tag him out at the end.
This was quite nice, wasn't it, actually, these two over here. Still in dire straits is Diomed. Maybe you uh, wolf dodge, blitz this guy, surf this guy, and then just dodge and run over here. <laughs> Depends what the odds are, man, kids, but yes, generally you rolling dice is better because the chance of succeeding everything is usually surprisingly high, right? Like, no matter how ludicrous their chance of stopping you is, you're probably better off rolling a dice to make it harder. And, uh, yeah, just standing on the ball there just doesn't do enough. But that is one of the things that people tend to do, isn't it? They tend to... Like, I'm not saying creepies at that level, but... That's one of the things that people say, isn't it? Like, you know, for beginners, like, let your opponent roll the dice and stuff. And it's not really correct at all. <laughs> You've got to do whatever the best odds are. And usually, the odds favour rolling the dice yourself. <laughs> yes, it is a somewhat absurd system, yeah. That's not really doing anything back there, is it? Uh, it's not stopping this guy punching him whatsoever. We could be seeing overtime. Gets the push, so obviously he's gonna stay in the way of this guy. And he gets the power. Gets the cars. Mmm. Well, <laughs> this guy has to dodge and bracket this wolf. The OT is um, how it is in. Blood Bowl 2020, which is a full eight turns each, like an you play an entire half. And, uh, and, yep. Okay, I, but he had to bracket him, this was absolutely the correct thing to do. Maybe you're best off blitzing with a wolf now, right? This wolf blitzes him, and then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G of five. This wolf blitzes this pest. This wolf scores. Otherwise, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G5, G5. That, that can't be good, can it? One, two, three, four, five, six, G5. It has to be dodge, blitz, and then he scores. Nothing else to do, really. Just stand these two. Maybe you don't even need to stand them two up. Strip to the waist, skin on skin. 
Yeah, this has got to be it, isn't it? Dodge, dodge blitz. Pick up, score. Yeah, I think I think he probably had to, right? He'd, he'd gone six, hadn't he? Was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Oh, he's done this wrong, hasn't he? I mean, he rolled all the dice. Surely that's wrong. Oh, it was only one dodge on the double GFI. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe that's okay then, eh? Yeah, that might be the best way. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it was better to blitz the other one. But I could be wrong. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, like that's the thing, right? That sequence there, Diamond had two rerolls for. So yes it's scary to do like a three or a or a three three two three, whatever it is. But even letting him do a three 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 two two is just too easy. It's just too likely to succeed. That's the problem. Yeah, I think it's safe to GFI. I think I think my way was better. But um, okay, I'm sure it was better. <laughs> I'm actually sure my way was better. I'm a hundred percent certain my way was better. But that's okay, isn't it? Um, you know what happens when you're playing is you get like kind of you get like kind of god I'm just unable to complete a sentence <laughs> um, you get like blinkers on don't you you get like blinkers on and you get like tunnel vision you get kind of tunnel vision so I guess he just didn't see it and I'm sure if you watched it back, you'd be like, oh yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> it was a good one. I can't say that anymore, man, because I, I did the worst play anyone's ever seen. <laughs> I had two turns. One of the worst two turns ever played in any game of Blood Bowl ever, so unfortunately, unfortunately, the whole not what I would have done thing doesn't, doesn't seem so good anymore. <laughs> oh, flip me. <laughs> PG. Yep. There's been a few howlers. It was the it was the game against Tree. That was the worst. That was the worst I have played in my entire life. I think that's once you read the rule book, there's no excuse for doing that. I mean both. It was it was both. Um It was both. But I just I just set somebody up here just to get surfed, right? Like I just I had two I just had Collins there versus Frenzy, he just got a dude surfed. And then next turn I just lay, left my dude there and then he got surfed as well. It was just it was our oh my god, so he's gone for the pickup. He's got no rerolls, he wanted to get the ball in hand and upfield and then start the GFIs. But um that is tragic, isn't it? What he wants to do here is blitz this one back to, then fill in all these squares and then block him and then push him out of range. <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> Funny though. Oh yeah, they're not an actual screen. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was a much more understandable mistake though the not an actual screen was the sort of thing that you'd see people do in like a game of Blood Bowl right it was just like a mistake not not completely insane whereas you know it was just like that was just a mistake it was a bad mistake but it was just a mistake whereas the, the, the misspelled tree one was like 
I don't. It was like I was possessed or something. And did the absolute worst possible move. <laughs> Twice in a row. So no rerolls for Krippy. This is looking pretty bad for him. But there is a chance still. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> so what he does is he blitzes here, hopes for the wrestle, and then passes the ball to him and jumps over and scores. Easy. Easiest touchdown of his life. <laughs> Just instantly rolls a one. <laughs> And dies. <laughs> what isn't good about the game now is that it just dumps you back to the main menu rather than the post screen game. So that's really that that is my biggest bugbear. If you're watching Cyanide, that is my biggest bugbear with the game at the moment. Why does spectating just drop you out? So now you've got to go all the way back into the league, click on the replay, and then go there just to get the post-match screen. Which doesn't even say a lot, but it's still it's a better way to end the video, isn't it? You know, like you can see that it was one nil. I can never really look at the stats, but it's just it's just kind of annoying to be like in menu instead of seeing a 1-0. Um, so there you go, congratulations Diamed. Commiserations Krippy. Um, pretty good game. Very well played by Diamed. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.